So we got a table, um, probability density function for the discrete random variable. Blah, blah, blah. What's the probability that x is 0, 1, or 4? So what's the probability that x equals 0, 1, or 4? So all you have to do is uh, add up all those different probabilities. There's a 3 tenths chance that the probability that x is 0. There is a 2 fifths chance that the x is 1. I'm getting it right from this part of the table. And then there's a 1 fourth, uh, sorry, there's a 1 20th chance that x is 4. So let's see. Uh, so this is 6 out of 20. This is, multiply the top and the bottom by 4. So this is 8 out of 20. So 6 plus 8 makes 14. Plus 1 makes 15 out of 20, which is 3 out of 4. Write your answer as a fraction. Okay, let's see what else we got in this topic. This one's a little different. Which the following table shows the valid probability density function. A probability density function is a function that uh, where all the different probabilities add up to 1. It covers all your bases. Everything adds up to 100%. This one doesn't add up to 100%. Uh, because if you add up all those decimals, it doesn't make 1. If you add up all the fractions here, this is 4 tenths, 5 tenths, 8 tenths. That doesn't make 1. Um, this is 2 out of 8. 3 out of 8, 8 out of 8, that one makes 1. Add up these. You know, a calculator for that. 0.13 plus 0.09 plus 0.45 plus 0.27 plus 0.06. That one adds up to 1. Oops, I should be clicking these as I go. Uh, so a probability is a number between 0 and 1 inclusive, meaning it could be 0, it could be 1. Cannot be negative. Can't have a negative probability, right? Because if somebody said there's a negative 20% chance that it rains today, that wouldn't make any sense, right? So this is 4 over 8, 5 over 8, 8 over 8. I think this one adds up to 100%, right? Yeah. So those three add up to 1. So those make uh, probability density functions. And it's discrete because it's like we also have probability density functions that are like, you know, normal mathematical functions we see in algebra where it's like the probability of event x is 1 over x and then for some interval. Right, that would be a continuous probability function. This is discrete because it's got countable options.